Thanks so much. New at four, Gastonia police announcing a plea agreement has been reached regarding the controversial arrest of a veteran. Joshua Rohrer was arrested last October, accused of illegally begging for money and resisting arrest. During the arrest, witnesses say police officers used a taser on his service dog, leading the dog to run off, and then it was hit by a car. His arrest led to protests and calls for accountability by community members. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Morris joining us live now. So Kendall, uh, what is in this plea agreement? Well, Carolyn, Roar will not face any jail time, and the district attorney's office says that all charges have been dismissed relating back to that October 2021 arrest pending certain conditions. Y'all see, it takes 20 police officers to arrest a homeless man. They tased his dog and threw him on the ground for being homeless. It's the arrest that sparked outrage in the community. Gastonia police saying they arrested Joshua Roar, an Army veteran, last October after getting a call from a citizen saying he was panhandling. Is it legal for these adults to be standing on the intersection with a dog asking for money? Witnesses claiming police were overly aggressive toward Roar and his dog Sunshine. And it was, it was very unnecessary. Community members protesting the arrest and demanding Gastonia Police Department release the body camera video. A judge denying that request to release the video. Now, nine months later, the Gastonia Police Department and Gaston County District Attorney's Office say they have reached a plea agreement. The District Attorney's Office says all charges related to the October 2021 arrest are dismissed. Despite a grand jury reviewing the charges twice and finding probable cause to support the charges. A judge sentenced Rohr to a 24-month probationary term in exchange for a guilty plea on an unrelated charge of driving while license revoked on July 6th of this year, and if Rohr participates in the Catawba County Veterans Treatment Court. The Gastonia Police Chief saying in a statement, We are satisfied with today's plea agreement, and we are pleased that Mr. Rohr has agreed to participate in the Catawba County Veterans Court, where he can receive services specifically tailored to his needs. Now, I did speak to Mr. Rohr over the phone earlier this afternoon. He told me he wanted to consult with his attorneys before making any kind of official statement. Live in Gastonia, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte. Kendall, thanks so much. Develop